warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. We are, we are downstream of what, about a mile. There's a nice big beaver dam there, but it's got a little break in it and they haven't fixed it. So I know they were here in the winter based on all the cuttings I see. So I don't know why they wouldn't fix it now. There's still plenty of water here. So we're gonna put One right here. Perfect little spot for a bed there. Oh, it's really deep too. So if we put it there, we're on this corner going around here, it's gonna pro project really good. It's, oh, there's plenty of water here, geez. I did not expect it to be that deep, even with that break in it. And that was like a piece of cake to put that in there. I gotta get a different, different one here. Okay, I'm gonna make them come up right here. Got a nice bed here. I'll change that uh, rebar out and get a bigger one. I can't believe how deep it is. <laughs> it's just a small ditch. Okay, so I get some mud here. Might be easier said than done. And there's chewings all over. No feed beds, none of that sort. We're just making a caster mound here. It's gonna stick out really good here. Everything will be able to see that. Some of my caster on there. You can swim in right here and check it out. Be caught. Might even stab this guy behind it. Here's some he hasn't hasn't cut on yet. Okay, I'm gonna grab a longer piece of rebar, and I think that's gonna do it. I see a beaver dam down here. I'm gonna see if there's a crossover on it. If not, we'll put in a caster somewhere near it. We're running towards the just the last two raw here, so good looking little spot. They're traveling. And it looks like there is a small crossover on it, so we'll just set that. Cause that's what that's how they're gonna travel back and forth. Oh yeah. Most definitely. See some chewings there. Might not hurt to put a caster here anyways. For reference, this is straight up from here is where the uh giant beaver dam is. I can see a small one right up there too. It's a little bit of chewings. There's not much. Probably just enough for them to make this. I just want to 
build this up right here for my trap to set. Try not to destroy the, anything. I plugged, I opened a hole up just by moving that little bit. Come on. I just want my trap sitting right there under the water where they already climb in and out. Very soft bottom. <clears throat> You'd be surprised how easy rebar blends into this stuff. <clears throat> Get it in there somewhere good. Nope. That's the bad thing about this. That's a lot better. There we go. Get this ready to go down the slider. You know, all these chewings. I'm probably gonna put a caster mount set into. Well, something went down a drowner. It's gonna flood over. As you can see, she's raising fast. So we'll see what we got here. Up. We got a beaver here. Cool. I'm kind of surprised a little bit. As high as the water got. But we'll let this rain go through and I'll come back and set this crossover. Obviously, this is a good spot. Put in a caster mound. I could see they were crossing it, but we got one. That's good. That is good. It's actually pretty good size. Oh, Jesus. Sweet. Alright, let's see. Back foot catch on a big beaver. I'm just gonna leave this drowned or setting here. It's not gonna go anywhere. Come back in here in a couple days. She's definitely got some water flowing in her now. Alright, let's get him out of here. So muddy. <laughs> Dang it. Now, down here at Beaver Swamp again, see what it looks like. Nothing in the 3.30. This trap is still set. 
less than ideal. Maybe we got them coming and going. <laughs> or coming down. In there, so not a good sign. Maybe this trap ain't sitting here, so maybe we picked one up here. At least we're still in the game, possibly. Oh, we got a raccoon. Raccoon number four. Check that caster mount now. Well, that dog just come running up on me again from behind, scared the shit out of me again. And I got a this caster mount that we set here. Trap is not there. I see something laying right there. I can't tell what it is though. Probably another raccoon. I think it's right there. Uh, look at where my drowner is. Here it is. Oh, we got a little beaver. Good. That's good. I don't care how big he is. <laughs> we got him. That's all that matters. He is a little turd. Got him on that caster, though. There's the dam. So two beavers today. Four raccoons. <laughs> this is why we need to have all the seasons come as one. So when you're out here trapping, you're not it's just getting a bunch of non-targets. And it defeats the purpose of being a fur harvester. When you can't keep anything, do you? Alright. That's obviously wet enough. Well, we got a little guy off of that. We'll probably get another one. It was right where, right, right where we thought it would catch. So, dang it! It's just a real nice rain, and it's cold, about 40 degrees. All right, little beaver. Having a hard time keeping the screen clean, but oh, we still do have two traps to check, so stay tuned. <laughs> I absolutely buried that sucker back there. I thought it was stuck. <clears throat> this is one I wasn't really thinking I would catch anything. I know they were here, they got a dam right there, but I don't know. I just didn't have a whole lot of faith, so we'll see what we get. We got. The trap is gone. It's probably laying down. <laughs> trap is definitely gone, and I got a giant footprint right there. So <laughs> it just doesn't look that good. I know it was really deep. It's just like one of them sleeper spots where someone's been here. I think. So we got the beavers chewing here. What? What is this? Is that an axe? Right there, maybe? I noticed something similar over that way, like an axe. I wonder if someone already trapped this. Tell me what you guys think. I'll show you something over here. Then we'll pull that up, see if we got something besides a rat can. axe right it's got to be someone's axe someone marking their spots huh we'll see I guess we'll run into somebody we do we don't let's see what we got it's hard to keep rain off of that Ugh. 
This one's super deep. Look how deep this is. Better get out of it. I'm wearing the holy waders. Very deep. Ooh, that feels heavy. Ooh, boy. Look at the tail on that boy. Sheesh. Well, I would say we got a big boy here in the area. He's caught great. Come on. Everything wants to be difficult when it's the coldest. You know that? There we go. That is a pretty good sized beaver. I'm definitely happy with that. I do have one more on a crossover upstream, but this is better than I thought it was gonna be. Look at it, it's just like, super deep though. I mean, man, look at how deep that is. Two caster mount sets today produced. Very happy with that. Yeah. The water's a little high, so we'll put a little bit of grass in this bed here. Raise our trap up. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta raise our trap up. That caster mound was out of the water. That'll have to do for now. It'll probably go underwater completely at some point. <laughs> and a big old tail on him. Well, that's, uh, that's all for that. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I actually can see through the window with the camera, but me looking through it, it's not so good. The camera can see through it though. Woo-hoo-hoo! Go on, mudding, boys! <laughs> 